come, yeah. come inside. First what? vlog of the season, man. What is so hurry? Okay, Razant was actually the first one, but we filmed that in 2017 and put it in 2000, no, 2018 and 2000. Anyway, first vlog of the season. Come, Dominic, I have something special I for want today. To, I want to hear the plan. This is the plan. That box with so much keys, we have something special. Let's go to my spot. Today's vlog is one of the most anticipated vlogs since we did the garage overhaul and this vlog gonna be all about my bike collection. So you still don't have the feeling how many bikes is around me. So take another look. Nice collection right it's also my first time i brought all the bikes in one place and i need to take this in for a moment give me a few seconds okay let's start with the first bike and uh, the first three bikes will be my private use bikes which means that i am using it for my private free time so that's my antonio it's about 40 years old three speed 50 cc and two stroke still works as new and that's a present from my parents the blue color is definitely my favorite and you remember we use it last time on our summer break that's my antonia that's her name and we take care of her pretty nicely next bike is the beta evo 300 two stroke 300 cc as the name already says i use this bike on my trial practice and i love trial riding because always when i finish with this training i learn something new better clutch control better balance you get better understanding what means having a grip or just look the lines where you need to ride to have enough grip to climb up some rocks so it's very good thing to have if you're a motorsport athlete if you think you know how to ride a bike then you should try a trial bike and maybe you're gonna change your mind and you will open up for some new techniques that helps you in your motorsport should i start it dominic yeah it has a pretty nice two-stroke sound let me see is it very loud then i should put the mic down uh, no not really i mean it is but not too much uh, let's see if first try <laughs> nope it too much on the cold engine so let's leave it this way i still want that it works let's go to my precious my super adventure 1290s i got that bike last year since i want to travel around that's the plan i don't have a lot of time but i want to improve on that topic and to travel and explore some new places and that's the machine for this yes please tell us did you already put some miles on it a little bit not a lot but we travel with Meribi to Croatia to the sea just to test it and it felt amazing I love that engine man 1300 cc about 175 horsepower if I'm not mistaken and it's smooth but it pulls like a rocket I saw a video somewhere on YouTube that one guy is going 170 180 kilometers per hour with one hand that shows how stable that bike is at high speed you really feel amazing when you hit the apex it's so stable i could go on and on and on about that bike and i did also some tricks with that bike like drifting wheelies stoppies and if you didn't see that action here's some shots
you can do all this stuff with the adventure. You just need to practice a little bit. But I will not repeat it anymore because I don't want to destroy this bike. Uh, we have a small scratch here and that's the last one. I hope I'm gonna stay this way. I will never crash with that bike. And yeah, we need to change the rear tire. And about tires, there is some news coming up. I will not tell you more about it, but it's gonna be a big news. And that's the Super Adventure 1290S. I think we have one more bike for my private use. That's the Rosant. First time on the Sunshine, Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> How you like the colors now on the real light? It uh, looks really sick. Right, eh? It's... But still I want to see it in action, you know? Me too. We are just waiting for one more important part for the tuning, for the last uh, build of vlog. And then we're gonna show this bike in action. Yeah, that bike I built for my private use to go from, from my home to the workshop. But as I see, I'm not gonna really ride that bike a lot since it's now so nicely done. I don't really want to scratch the paint and so on, but I'm still gonna ride it. That's why we build bikes to ride them. I freaking love it, it's first time it's outside and it's actually still winter but it's like 15 degrees which is crazy, I don't know what's happening We have a Spanish winter Yeah, <laughs> so that's pretty much it, those are my private bikes Next step is uh, stunt bikes and we're gonna start with the bikes that I started my careers about 12 years ago Let's go Okay, those are my scooters and those are the scooters that I started my career and that was about 12, 13 years ago. Yes, you're getting old. But we are getting bigger and bigger bikes now since I'm getting old, finally. They were 50cc on the beginning but we tuned them into 70cc. Uh, we shot already a vlog about my scooters, you can find, you can click up there at the link and you can watch how I do some tricks uh, with those scooters. And those are the Yamaha Aerox uh, scooters. That one has a sport cylinder, that one has a mid-race cylinder. That one is more for the tricks, and that one was more for the fast, long wheelies and burnouts. So one special thing that I saw on the vlog that we showed with the scooters that everybody was asking, how is possible that this scooter is uh, air-cooled? You can see here that we have an air cooling system and we took down the liquid cooling system and we put the air cooling system on, on the engine because I'm moving slow with the scooters and you need better cooling when you move slow. So air cooling is better in stunts than liquid cooling. It's not overheating. A lot of memories of those scooters. Do you remember like when we traveled the first time to Germany to the first show? And this is also the scooter that you win the France stunt competition. Exactly, those, those are also not only the first shows I did with those scooters, but also my first competition. I always lose in all the competition. I was the guy that always repairs the scooters, but never wins. On my last two years, I was starting to win competitions. Exactly, I won in Bordeaux 2009, my uh, last competition that I attended on the scooters. And it was just an epic moment. Here are some pictures from my first shows and my first competitions that I won. Those are the beginnings, the sweet memories. And let's continue to the KTM bike that traveled with me the most. And it was my workhorse, let's say like this. That's my 200 Duke. And probably everybody knows that bike since it traveled almost half of the world with me. This bike in specific, we ship it with a plane. And sometimes if we couldn't get it over the customs, because it's not the transportation, it's not the problem. The problem is are the customs in certain countries. So it can happen I have a show and still the bike is stuck in the customs doesn't matter if we ship it two months before and we had those situations and we have a plan B and that's so-called travel kit that means I take all my stunt parts with me we took a stock bike from the shop and we rebuild it so the 200 Duke was my main bike since 2013 till 2017 since the new Dukes came out the 200 Duke was my main bike and I love that bike especially the engine is so smooth to ride tricks it's 
by far one of my favorite stunt bikes from KTM. There is a lot of stunt parts on it, like uh, front bags, wider handlebar, specialty is the carbon tank cover, so I, I, I could sit on it, seat, sub cages, crash cages, big sprocket, all the stunt parts, and it has also a nice Akrapovic exhaust on it. Fully stunt bike built, so that bike gonna stay forever in my collection and tons of memories uh, on that bike. A quick shameless promotion, you can get all the stunt parts for your KTM bikes in our online shop here. Next bike, uh, RC200. So after the Duke, I got the RC200. Yes, I know it says 250 here, but it's just a sticker. And we restyled the bike, had a white plastics, if you could see in lots of our vlogs. And a few months ago, we changed it to orange plastics. It's one of my favorite stunt bikes, since it has all this shape to do all the next level tricks. It has a 200 engine, it's very, very smooth. Yeah, it's just an amazing bike. It has full stunt setup with crash cage, handlebar, sub cage, exhaust, Akrapovic, uh, double brake system, Motomaster discs, big sprocket, tow guard, easy pull clutch, a racing suspension, wheelie bar, stunt seat. So it's fully built into the stunt bike. Definitely one of my favorite stunt bikes for sure. It's hard to say which one is better. There is some probably some questions right now. Which one is better rock, the Duke or the RC? And about that question, we also shoot a vlog. You can find the link below and you can watch it after this vlog. And you can find out which bike is better, Duke or RC? Next one is the RC390, my drift bike. We started with that bike, a really nice and really interesting vlog series called Moto Drift Battle. And we started in Spain, as I remember, with Edu. And we, we battled it out with my RC390 and his Suzuki GSX-R1000. And it was really interesting to see how we compete between low power and high power, lighter bike, heavy bike. I think Edu won for really a, like a small difference. Yeah, we have to calculate it like five times or even more. And yeah, Edu, congratulations once again. Horchata was, uh, was good. Let's show some drift battle shots right now. <laughs> It's my turn let's see if i can be this time yeah that bike is amazing and a big news dominic you don't know maybe yet but i planned for this year to transform this stunt bike into totally a different purpose bike it will not be any more stunt bike it will be something different again i'm gonna keep it a secret for now but expect a big build of series and a lot of action with that bike more soon in the next vlogs and say goodbye to our drift bike but rock what's the top speed of these two that's hard to say actually on all my stunt bikes i don't have a speedometer probably the top speed is pretty low because on all my stunt bikes i have a big size sprocket on the back and it drops the top speed drastically so i don't know what's the top speed unfortunately maybe the police can help you with maybe this. we should call the police and tr try all my bikes uh, what's the top speed but uh, it wouldn't be so spectacular to expect the bike should go 200 but it eventually it goes 120 the bike actually loud sound but moving slow uh... man you have so much bikes we need a break right i'm so hungry already yeah we are now on the half of our collection so let's fuel up first and then let's continue with the other stunt bikes I didn't know, I mean, I know I had them in the garage, but uh, now I realize when I have them all in one place, how many bikes we have. I'm definitely a happy person. Okay, cheers. Cheers on that. Well, that sandwich was good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue with our bike collection. 
390 Duke 2015 model and the story behind that bike is actually we build it fully stunt first and on the side I have the 200 Duke so when we build a 390 I test it I felt more the 200 so I choose to continue with the 200 and we put the whole bag back in the stock version and I used it on the streets we did some cool vlogs with it and right now we are using it for the wheelie academy the students are learning how to wheelie with that bike and the tuning on that bike is only a bigger sprocket wheelie bar and we restyle it with the new uh, rock on sticker kit for the duke and it has a wider handlebar and some bits and pieces here and there but it's actually a stock bike on the other side we have a 2019 duke 390 as you can see fully stock it has still a number plate a crash cage and hand guards and we're gonna use this bike the same as the other one for our wheelie academy if you don't know what a wheelie academy is it's actually my academy where i teach students or uh, bikers uh, how to wheelie in a safe way we have a special wheelie machine that we attach to the bike and you can ride up and down try to wheelie it and it saves you from crashing makes the whole thing much more safer and we are teaching also how to properly use the clutch some special techniques how to improve your riding and if you want to be a part of it we have two dates open one is in March one is in June and you can find more information in the description below and I would be happy to teach you how to wheelie in our wheelie academy uh, Dominic next bike yeah okay let's go so Dominic yeah. which bike is this this is the 250 Duke exactly okay you've been so much around the world with me and you've been to so many duke presentations so i would like to hear your presentation <laughs> from my 250 stunt bike let me hear so what is what? the setup on that bike uh, you have a special tank for the tricks which one here and this, this one tank right tank seat <laughs> tank seat and then we have a, a wider uh, handlebar okay it's from magura then we have all the parts from rock bugger or stunt parts if you see no thank Same you for the promotion <laughs> i want 20 percent okay course. okay deal <laughs> then we have uh, a crop of each system what's behind the exhaust what's that double brake setup exactly and where where are the handles for that right where's here. the brake uh, that's that's the brake are you sure yeah and that's the clutch and that's the clutch and here you have a mistake you can easily cut yourself uh, here the spike oh, shit, yeah. i shit i was watching wait i need to focus that thing now you can see who put these bikes here all around and injured himself who put <laughs> it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry guys, we are just talking now in Slovenian. We just make the vlog 10 minutes longer. Yeah, and you, you have subtitles here, so... Kaj še je na tem motorju? Predelanega? Kaj je zadaj, za tabo? Ja. Kaj je to? Sedeš? Tam sedeš, wheelie bar? Ti malo pomagam? Ne morem jaz tako, veš, normalno govoriti. Ali se zdaj malo bolj, ali pa se ne zdaj... Oli se zadavljam, oli po čisto vresno naj, zdaj to. Ti ne namogučate, ja ti imaš vek še diske gore, ko bolj zgrabi, do poprednjo, ga še iš vsiho te, ne? Dobro. Ja te pa zobni, ko do malo gazda šta obrcne, to v zadnjo ga občas. Dobro, ok, so to je. Ja ti pa še, samo ote bliže, ote bliže, ko ne pozabimo, ja ti pa od kusilnice, to smo pri Moriški kusilnicu vzeli, razmetole in ja ti ga to... Čakaj, čakaj, ko ne vidim, čakaj, fokusiram. Zdaj pa bil počasi fokusiram. A, ja ti, ja, ja, zdaj jaz fokusiram. Ja ti od Moriške kusilnico, nekaj od Magure, tu je nekaj poleg. Kaj gaz. Pa imamo štand gaz. Štand gaz. Tako to je 219 stand motor Duke 250. Hey, what are you doing? Just 
trying to fill the tank seat. I love that thing on my 690 Duke. That's our legendary Duke 2013 model. It's pretty old and it done his job. And we shoot really amazing projects with it, like Ride and Slay, the big movie. Recently we did a spike tire video on the motocross track. This is my favorite one. But we are still removing dirt from that bike. It almost fucked up the whole bike. You know, how can you get the dirt out of the bike? No. You just have to... Uh, I mean, I know, but let me hear your... I think you don't know. You have to ride it on ice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, your trick again to, to bring me to the ice eh? yeah so that's why it's uh, still we don't have the seat here we are cleaning it and it's a lot of dirt here on the battery we're also developing a new brake bracket so that's why the, all the brakes are here and we have a 3d printed uh, brake mount because a lot of you guys want to put a uh, double brake system on your 690 or smc bikes and we are bringing it soon uh, out so stay tuned to on rock bugger parts instagram and yeah that bike has a lot of memories and it's still working so it's, uh it's a bit slow you can hear that it has uh, a lot of years uh, through hell through a lot of full throttle action this bike is actually just resting i'm not using it anymore and it's for my museum and as you can see clearly for some r d stuff and yeah that's our 690 duke for sure all stunt equipped that's the golden version first it was the white version with the power part stickers and then we changed it for the last few years two three years the gold version that's my 2013 690 duke but and you still have a newer one right exactly it's one. behind you and that's the next bike i'm gonna show you that's the 2017 690 duke for a stunt rider that's a fresh bike because a lot of stunt riders are using old uh, 2003 2004 bikes and i'm super proud to have a 2017 bike uh, it has a speedometer but it doesn't show the speed we just removed the sensor for abs and the speed sensor almost same uh, setup that on my 2013 690 duke sub cage full exhaust system wider handle bar crash cage double brake system wheelie bar stunt seat and stunt tank and on the other one we had it made out of carbon fiber that one is made out of metal so we shaped nice seat on this we always try to improve the seat on the stunt tank so actually all my stunt bikes are in constant developing we always change stuff because i learn new tricks and i want to have a specific part change so i can do that new trick so for example uh, we change a lot of times the stunt tank double brake system sometimes we put the bigger discs smaller disc different uh, brake calipers different brake calipers options so we always change for example this year i want to change my sub cage and i'm gonna lower the exhaust and make the sub cage adjustable since i want to step down uh, a bit lower to have a bit different center of gravity so we're gonna change still a lot on that 690 duke that bike has a really nice sound you see there is no db killer so if yeah. i if i switch that bike it's gonna be like a new year's eve with uh, rockets flying out of the exhaust you want to hear that okay but uh, let me go a little bit further away okay one two three <laughs> ready no, 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 wait. Okay, do it. Okay, this definitely fucked up my mic. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty loud, but it changes also the performance. So I'm running it with the DB killer, which makes the engine smoother for stunts. So sometimes I take out the DB killer for the show. So it's pretty loud and people love the loud sound. And yeah, it's just amazing sound on that bike. Man, we are almost on the end. One more special bike is waiting for us. Let's go check it out. My new precious. I forget, we, we removed the front disc from the bike. We are already starting to build the 790 Duke into a stunt bike. And that's a bike that I was waiting for so many, 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 many years. And I saw it uh, for two years in the R&D at KTM, but uh, finally it came out last year and I have it now on my own. And the plan of that bike specifically is first, we're gonna shoot some nice build off vlogs with it. We're gonna change a lot of stuff on that bike. And on the end, it's gonna be transformed into a full stunt bike. And I'm gonna start to practice on 
the 790 Duke and it's by far the biggest, the strongest stunt bike I ever owned. I cannot wait, it gives me so much motivation to push myself and to practice new tricks, it's just amazing. It's still stock so there is no tuning on that bike. Okay we have some nice bling bling stuff like CNC machined covers in orange color like a brake reservoir cover. Yeah. There is nothing else, it's fully stock. But I like the black version more than the orange one. I already have some ideas what to do with that bike. I want to cut the exhaust, I want to cut there, I want to do this. We're gonna cut a lot, man. A lot of CNC machining, a lot of laser cutting, a lot of cool stuff. And we're gonna do a cool design on that bike in the end. It needs to be a rock-on design, right? Last time, if you followed me on the Instagram stories, did you see the smoke that this bike made? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. You are lying, man. You're not. <laughs> watching my, my Instagram stories <laughs> so actually I tried to do a rolling burnout in the in the fourth gear and it wasn't even a, a issue for that bike it has so much power with the stock rocket I did a rolling burnout through the whole practice spot and it made so much smoke the cars couldn't see on the main road where they driving so I was scared that the police is coming and ask me about what did I do <laughs> I destroyed the tire almost with one burnout so that bike gonna eat a lot of tires that's it that's my last bike i have uh, i have one more 250 duke the new version but we have it in the workshop we are building a new stunt tank and some new parts i didn't take it out here so those are actually all my stunt bikes so we came to an end of our bike collection vlog and yeah amazing to see all the bikes in one place it was a good decision and it's good that i follow your uh, request when you drop comments uh, but still one thing yo which bike is now your favorite Tell us. <laughs> that's the most difficult question dominic it's so hard to say it's like look how many bikes it's so hard to say let's do it this way drop some comments below which bike is your favorite for my collection i would like to see uh, what do you say guys and we have a one small request for our future vlog what we would like to shoot and to see is a special ktm bike so if somebody from slovenia or from austria has a really crazy ktm bike in his garage please send us an email to info at rockbagros.com somewhere here is the email and send us some pictures some information about the bike and we would like to come to your place see the bike test it to ride it with you and to show it to the rock on community that's it i would say dominic right yeah it's 2019 and rock on vlogs are back see you in the next one until then rock, rock on, on.